Hi, my name is Justin Lovett. This is our channel, A Little Creative, A Little Organized. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you how this piece of equipment can help you get hired more as a cameraman, especially if you're a one-man band and are often working in the field with a journalist or producer or maybe with the whole team. Um, so here we go. So the piece of equipment I'm going to be talking about is called the Asun Cine Eye. The Asun Cine Eye is a wireless video transmitter. It has an HDMI port and it takes whatever's on your camera and transmits it. This guy costs only about 180 bucks right now. So it's definitely one of the cheapest video transmitters out there. It just creates a wireless signal and you can connect to that wireless signal uh, with your phone and up to four phones can connect to it so four people can use their phones as a monitor. So why does it make you stand out and elevate your work? This is the list here. Number one, the person who hired you, whether it's a producer, journalist, whoever's on set, they're going to appreciate being able to see the image you're capturing and be confident that you're getting a good image. And sometimes you might be capturing something that they don't need, so they can just tell you, we don't need that. Or maybe you haven't captured something yet, and so they need you to you know, get some B-roll of uh, a picture, and you get it, but if they're watching it, they're like, oh, actually we need it much closer, so then they get, you get much closer. It just makes you be able to actually get what you're hired for. And, and it's also helpful for audio. If there's an audio guy who needs to boom, maybe you can uh, set up a monitor for him as well, just so he can see whether the boom's in the shot or not. Also, it just saves time and space because if you don't have this monitor then the other anyone else who is on set who's making decisions it doesn't have to look over your shoulder it elevates you above other cameramen because in my experience not a lot of other cameramen bring these on set especially if they're one-man band and just take a little bit of extra time to set it up so that the producer or journalist you're working with or creative director can actually see what the image is it really doesn't take that much longer and every single time i've set it up whoever i've been working with has always appreciated it you can also use this as a photographer. I've set this up on photo shoots so that, yeah, again, the creative director, the, whoever's hired me, can see the images I'm capturing in real time. It's gonna make your work better and the client's product better if more eyes can see the image. Because once you've shot it, you're that's it. You're not going back on set. They're not gonna, they've spent all this money on that one day to hire you, to rent out the location, to hire models maybe, or so on and so forth. So it's better to have more eyes on the screen, even if you're a small, small team, so that you can make sure you're getting the best image possible. Some of the benefits, it can, up to four phones can connect to it, which is huge, because then four people can be using their phones or iPads as a monitor. This is so easy to set up. I'll show the setup in just a second, but um, it's so easy. You can almost can't not set it up. You know, with the Teradek or other wireless transmitters out there where you have a receiver and transmitter, sometimes those can be a tiny bit more complicated. You're just creating a Wi-Fi signal, really, and then connecting to that Wi-Fi signal. Like, if you know how to use Wi-Fi, you know how to use this. But the negatives with this is, it can't transmit very far, but it's still, I've never actually had to go that far away from whoever I'm working with. Normally we're very close, so unless it's like reality television where you're running down the street following someone, the transmission is actually quite good. The furthest I've probably gone away is about 100 meters and it's still connected. It was in an open space, there's no walls in between us or anything. I haven't really tried a test with walls and stuff, but its it, it, I've never had a problem with going too far away from the producer or journalist or whoever I'm working with, except in reality television once, and at that time we were using a Teradek. But yeah, that's the only time I've had to go really far away. It would be nice to have one that has a little bit further range. So if you have the budget, just get the Cine i2. The second thing that's annoying about this is that the battery does die after about three hours of constant use, so that's not very long. I'd rather just leave it on the whole time instead of turning off, turning on, turning off, turning on. How I've combated that issue is just strapping a battery pack to it and plugging it in here, and that charges it as I'm still using it, so that actually has been able to solve the problem. But again, I would still rather have one that just has its own battery life that can last you know, six hours or eight hours. It does also charge quite fast. But that was also, I think, solved with the Cine i2, which is actually only 250 bucks. So I'll just put that link below too, because like, you have the budget. I bought this about a year ago. I would buy the Cine i2 now if I could. Or I mean, I might, I don't know. But with the Cine i2, you can just put an F9 battery on. So problem solved right there. Just keep a bunch of those batteries with you. 
these these are the this is the gear I use to set it up. So first of all, I use a camera cage. This one is from Small Rig, but you can also get it from Nicey Rig. Might be cheaper, not sure. Small Rig arm, one micro HDMI to HDMI, or an HDMI to HDMI, and a phone. Okay, let's screw this in. I highly re recommend getting camera cages because besides like being able to attach all this other stuff, you can put another plate. Having to shoot now ver horizontally, but also vertically for like iPhone ads and stuff like that now, it's so useful to have a plate on this side where you can just flip the camera and put it on a tripod. Okay, once you have that connected, generally I kind of put it down to the side of my camera like this. Plug your HDMI and then plug your HDMI or micro HDMI into your camera. Once that's done, you can turn it on and then you will probably see it blinking like this. Once it stops blinking, it means it has a signal from your camera, like it's got footage going through the cable. So you know that it, it, it's recognized a feed from your camera once the V turns or the A turns a constant light color. This is important because sometimes it does disconnect from your phone, but as long as that's still lit up, that means it is. Just know that if it's red, you're not receiving footage from your camera. So it's either the wire, maybe your camera, maybe this is broken. And then the only other thing was that you don't necessarily need a small rig arm. It does come with a little shoe mount that you can like just put into the top of your camera where the audio generally goes. It just can slide in. So download the app. Then you need to go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, connect to... Cinei, your ASUN will have its own name. I think it comes with a password, or you have to create a password. Mine's just 1235678, because yeah, I don't care who connects to it. Once it connects to the Wi-Fi, then go back to your app, monitor, and there we go. I also find that it's actually so useful just to turn your phone on airplane mode. Normally I'm giving my phone as a monitor, uh, you can bring an extra phone if you have one, but turn, the, turn that phone or iPad on airplane mode, connect the Wi-Fi and it should stay connected the whole time. If it does disconnect, what I find is helpful is to exit out of the app, close the app down. Uh, if it's still connected to Wi-Fi, just open the app again and it should connect. It does disconnect a few times, but it's very easy to reconnect. Otherwise, if it's really not connecting, maybe power it down, restart it, close apps. Often I just have to close the app, exit the app, and that's what works. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions. Totally recommend this if you're a one-man band. And this is the cheapest one. I mean, maybe there's cheaper ones, but this is the cheapest one I found. Very useful, very reliable, very rugged. But if you have a little bit more budget, I would go for the Cine i2. Anyways, if you love this video, please like it. And we'll see you next week with another video or join us on Friday night at... 10 p.m. KST for live stream.